That was adrenaline. Hell yeah, that's what it's all about right there. Oh my. <laughs> Shoot him. There you go. Got his ass. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. Woo, boys. The sea monster. All right, y'all, we got a real good video for you today. I like to call it the reptile trifecta. And uh, we had two dads come down here with their 10 year old sons for an absolute reptile bonanza. And uh, we had a very good time. So come on, let's, let's go do it. Oh, we gonna need another, see him swimming? Try to get another in him, guys. He's coming up right on my laser. Otto, Otto, that's a bird. Yep, and finish this guy here, where my green laser is. He's hurt, but he, oh, that got him. He's done, hold your fire. Hit him, Otto. He is enthusiastic. Yeah, hit him. Get him, Ot. Good dog, bring him here. We started off this reptile adventure with some iguana hunting. We got the boys out on the boat uh, with Otto, and we are hammering the lizards. Oh, boys! Slaughtering. Not sure knows where he is. Get him, on. Get him on. Good dog. Good dog. Go load him up. No. Oh, you heard him. Oh, you heard him. He's done, boys. He's done. Go get him on. Get him on. Good dog. Bring him here. And he's a stud, y'all. Hell yes. Good one. Hold him. Give it here. Good dog. Woo! Pretty bastard, too. Gorgeous. He's a monster. Make it count, y'all. He's going to take off. Oh, pick your shots. Pick your shots. Oh, nope. Get him again. We pull up on a canal dragon, and these dads let him have it, son. After a little bit, we thought we may have lost him but I ain't letting this tree chicken get away, son. Nope. Shoot him. Yes, sir. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Yeah, 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 hold your fire. Went for a little swim, but we got him. Yes, sir. He's a stud and he ain't dead. Woo, boys. Congratulations on that monster. We don't get one that size every hunt. Oh. Yes, sir. It was a battle. Sucker ain't go down easy, No, 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 don't shoot him. Well, I didn't like going across. I didn't know if there was a house straight across or what. Definitely starting to see a big change on these canals where we've been hunting, you know, we're having a huge effect and that's a great thing. A year ago, these canals were just flooded with iguanas. I mean, there is an orange stud in every tree it seemed like. And now we really got to hunt for them. And uh, you know, it's getting harder and harder, less and less iguanas, but that's what we're out here trying to do. And uh, you know, it's really been a great thing. These guided hunts have made that possible and uh, we're really starting to see the benefits across Florida. Pulled up on another monster and this kid put him to sleep. That's what I'm talking about. 
Oh, oh good God. night. Good night. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we're talking about, son. Hell yes. He is orange for sure. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Heck yeah. Come claim your dragon. There you go. Grab, pin those back legs to his tail. There you go. There you go. Look at that thing. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice work, y'all. Get him, Ott. Good dog. Got him by the face. Hold him, Ott. Hold him, Ott. Bring him here. All right, we had a great day getting iguanas. The canal is looking a lot cleaner, and uh, now it's time to go out and clean up the Everglades. We're gonna head out and see if we can't get these guys a python. Yes, sir, heading out. Otto busted ass all day, but now it's time for him to take a break, and we're bringing old Moose out to put in some work on these pythons. You know, Moose is my lead hog dog, but uh, he's become one hell of a python tracker for me, among other things, and it just goes to show that a good dog can do it all. I Wanna try to grab him? I've never seen a dog. Grab that joker. Grab that joker. Nicely done. Oh, he got away from you. Yeah, he's slimy. Why do you always think I'm lost? <laughs> You know, hunting these islands out in the Everglades definitely ain't for everyone, but hunting them at night definitely ain't for everyone. You know, uh, you got bugs chewing you up, you got gators looking at you funny, moccasins out here, and it's just hard to see and creepy in general. Um, you know, you definitely got to be a special kind of crazy to come out here with me, son. Looks like he's actually hatched, right? Like recently hatched? Uh, yeah, this season. I'm still saw. I see your lights, keep coming to me. Yeah, he's locked up on point. I, I can see a snake. All right, Moose is locked in. Let's see what these boys can do. Good boy, Moose. Good dog. Moose, come here, buddy. Come here. Good boy, come here. Hey, come here. You're okay, you're okay. Come here. No, keep coming to me, follow this path. Good dog, stay. Right here, his tail's back here. If you want to grab his tail and pull him out in the open, maybe. Yeah. Um, or you can go right for their head if that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, is uh, who's grabbing him? So I know kind of how to guide a little him. better. Ooh. I really want. There's grab his him. head right back there. Oh, See? oh, that's long. Yep. Wait, that's so is that one. a second one right there? Nope, that's its tail. Oh, oh. he's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous night. Oh, yeah, I want to do it. Can I just go for its head? I would say go right for its head, yep. You want to get up close to its head and, and grab it by the fattest part and grab it like you mean it. You're, you're better off grabbing too far forward than too far backwards. And you're going to want to just creep in. He's got it. Yeah, you're going to want to creep in nice and slow. And try not to spook it. Keep coming in like you are. You grab, you grab nice, nicely done. Yep, and you can kind of pin them to the ground. And you don't want to hesitate when you go for the grab. You wanna, you wanna commit to it. And you can get, you can get pretty close, and he might not even move. You got this, buddy. You got this, buddy. Don't step on him. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Um, yep, you can grab him. You're going to pull him out in the open. Just be a little careful of Moose. Here you go. Grab him. Yep, pull him out. Pull him back. And, and the gentler you are with him, the more calm he'll remain. Keep that in mind. Walk straight back in. Walk straight back. Yeah, he's a good one. He's he's eight foot, maybe maybe larger. Yep, you you can pull it right through it. Oh, he's going around your arm. 
I'm gonna go get them when we drop around there. Is that all right? Yeah, do whatever you want to do. It's your game now. All right, game. Grab that joker. Grab that joker. Yeah! Nice. yeah. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh what a beauty, God. too. <laughs> hey, what was that like? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Baby. No, it just looks like that. What a beauty. <laughs> Turn around, let's see that thing. Let's see that thing, Kenny. Yes, sir. Hey, that's what we're talking about right there. Yeah, buddy. Nice work, Moose. Moose. Nice work, everybody. Heck yeah. You'll feel it. Definitely want to get some pictures with that beauty. What a pretty snake. Wow. That was adrenaline. Hell yeah. That's what it's all about right there. Oh my. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Woo. You know, a hunt like this can be real tough and gotcha. sometimes might not even have a payoff. Can, hell, even get boring at times, believe it or not. But that's what I love about these dads bringing their kids out here and letting them experience it all. Putting them through the gauntlet of the Everglades. These kids are loving it, being great sports about it, but uh, either way, it's just a great learning experience, and uh, I wish more dads would do it. I wish more dads would get their kids involved in the outdoors and, and kind of push them past their comfort zone. You'd be, you'd be surprised what you can pull out of your kid and uh, you know what he can do himself. And there ain't a day in the woods or the swamp where you don't learn something, even adults. It's just a great place to be and a great place to grow. Checking island after island, just wearing ourselves out. Um, you know, one of the kids actually fell asleep in the boat as we're going along and uh, still not complaining. You know, they were being great sports, trucking along, pushing through it, but uh, we decided to call it a night. You know, we got a big day the next day and we want everyone nice and rested and ready for some action. The next day I invited them out to my ranch so they could see some of the animals, interact with them, and uh, I think they definitely enjoyed that. Check them out, Bubba. He's not gonna get you like this off show. Well, we had a lot of fun at the ranch, saw some of the animals. Now it's time to go hunt some gators. <laughs> what a perfect night you sure can't beat florida sunsets i don't know if y'all have ever seen a rabbit swimming in the swamp but these are marsh rabbits and they're brave little suckers there's alligators out here and all kinds of other stuff that'll be happy to eat them up Look at you bite me. There. No. Well. Found the boys one of our few native lizards we have, a little green anole, and uh, I knew they were in a reptile, so we took a little time to check them out. Looking for his daddy. As we're cruising around, you know, we're spotting a few gators, but they're all on the smaller side, and we're looking for something a little bit bigger for these boys. Get ready. Tonight we're hunting these gators a real fun way. You know, the water's just perfect in this area where we're able to cruise around in the airboat, run up real quick on these gators, and try to get a shot on them with the crossbow before they go underwater. Um, if they go under just a little bit, we can still shoot them through the water. And uh, the water level and clarity of the water makes it just perfect for this type of hunting. And to me, this is my favorite way to hunt the gators. High action, a lot of fun and it can be challenging. Is that a black racer? Grab him, quick, grab him. We rolled up on a snake and then one of the boys smoked a gator. Shoot him. Oh, got it. Got it, Dad. Good shot. I got, got it. Shot him. I got it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, we got a line and a gator, boys. Line on a gator. Nice shot, nice shot. Heck yeah, buddy. Yeah, want me to hit him here? Yeah, you, here. you can get him. And it's underwater. Yep, just here. like it is. And here, buddy. Watch out. All right, it's 
loaded. And how, and how what's the force? Is that know. is that safety yeah. out of it? Yep, it's ready. Can, can you can see you, his you head? want it you want to hit him like you mean it. You want to move? Can you see his head? No, you're I, good. I can't see. There we go. in my way. Ooh. That's how it's done, bank boys. Here, bank yeah. That's how it's done, boys. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Go ahead here. Yeah. Ew. That's what we're yeah, talking we're about. Yeah. Man, shit. Can I bring him in? Uh, let, me, uh, let me tape his mouth first. That guy's They big. are known to be zombies. Dude, oh, oh, you oh, smoked him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got him, son. Got him. Oh, you ready? Yes, sir. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Look where a big old gator bit him there. All infected. Show that arrow. Turn it over. Wait, where did he get bit? Show that arrow shot. You can see the, the light right there. Pull that arrow straight out. All right, nice size gator in the boat. Now it's off to go get another one. Let's see how the other boy does. Hopefully he's a good shot too. He's had a couple close shots, no bullseye yet, but we're gonna get it for him one way or the other. We ain't calling it quits, son. Shoot him! There you go! Got his ass! Yes, sir! That's what we're talking about! That's a shot gator, son! Get ready! Yeah. Woo, boys! The sea monster. Get ready. Get ready. Hold on. Hold on. Get him in the head. Right there. Woo! Hell yeah. These boys did awesome. They completed the reptile trifecta, and that is easier said than done. We had a great time on this hunt, and I know they're going to have some awesome memories from it and they definitely learned a thing or two. I'm pretty sure the second Look, you still ain't yeah, dead. I lost my finger to one about that big. I don't play no games anymore. <laughs> Thumb. Did you really? Yeah. Where? They glued it back together, but it's a little shorter. It's a little shorter. You know, uh, you know what? I had, I, had a, I had a huge, big, uh, I don't know if he was from Jamaica, black doctor. And I said, I said, listen, man, it's the first time and I, I've never been in the hospital my entire life. And I, I walked in. And he goes, he started chuckling. He said, damn, I've never done one of these before. I mean, I've done them before, but not from an alligator. I said, look, man, I've seen a lot of horror stories, and I promise you, I don't want to wake up me missing a, t a th uh, toe yeah. up here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want this to be back on my thumb. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he didn't give you a toe? No. Okay, thank God. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video and really appreciate y'all watching. If y'all want to come down and be a part of the action, be in a video, come out on a hunt and experience this, um, bring the family down, email pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com. You'll be speaking with my assistant, Jenny, and we'll get you all set up on a hunt. If you want to get any leather products from any of the animals you see me catch, help support the operation. Um, they're all up on my website pythoncowboy.com we have uh, wallets uh, card cases bracelets money clips all kinds of stuff um, if you want something a little more custom like a dog collar uh, a gun sling or a purse email pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com and uh, really appreciate y'all watching especially if you watch all the way to the end and uh, we'll see y'all at the next one so.